Hey, good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to my last video post for the semester. Uh, but today I'm going to discuss George Marston's work entitled The Outrageous Idea of Christian Scholarship. George Marston is a very prominent uh, Christian scholar in the academic community, and he's become a centerpiece in this class. So I find it uh, important that we review his work uh, the best to our ability. But it is in this work that George Marsden posits that the Christian worldview is not necessarily under attack in American universities, but rather it's viewed as trivial, something medieval. And many other secular academics might uh, push aside such work to say that um, it doesn't follow humanist ideas or enlightened perspectives. The irony is this, in this is that many great leaders in the Great Awakening might be viewed as enlightened as well. Nonetheless, uh, academia needs to be accepting more Christian scholarship as well as other Christian academics to be uh, creating more Christian work, uh, Christian scholarship as well, that is of high quality. And other academics that accept feminist multicultural uh, scholarship also very much need to take into account this other scholarship as it creates a more plural uh, society. However, there were some negative reviews uh, to George Marsden's work. One of these reviewers was by Ryan uh, Barlio. Uh, he wrote this review for the Catholic Social Science and on page 246, he actually concludes that Marsden will fail in his attempt to persuade such a secular populace, let alone faculty, secular faculties of accepting this evangelical Christian worldview. Furthermore, on page 247, he goes on to criticize George Mar Marsden for not accepting the Catholic worldview. Um, so he points out uh, in a very interesting way how George Marsden only focuses on the Protestant evangelical uh, worldview, in which I suppose uh, old wounds have yet to heal. However, there are other scholars uh, that reviewed his work in a very positive way. One of these is Mark Edwards, who writes for uh, Fides e Historia, and he actually debates some of Marsden's theological arguments uh, as a Lutheran himself. But this is not the most interesting part of his review. In fact, um, he comes to the conclusion that it's actually the, these debates that do need to take place in the university system, as these Christian perspectives will add a more plural conversation to American life within these universities. So, and that not only that, his work will be a turning point or a returning point for these American university systems. So with all that said, I do wanna end with a quote uh, that truly defines the work of the outrageous idea of Christian scholarship from George Marston, where he says, our society has corrected an old problem and in doing created a new one. Today, non-religious viewpoints hold the advantage in academia so that something very much like secular humanism is informally established as much as Christianity was in the 19th century. The religious right does not help by suggesting, in effect, that we go back to Christ the Christian establishment. That is not the only alternative and is not a desirable one. Rather, we should recognize that we are dealing with an overcorrection and look for a way to restore better balance among both religious and non-religious voices. Thank you.